Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from Tech Fans here. So in our previous videos, we have uh, unlocked this bootloader and uh, rooted this device and even tried to uh, fix the uh, play integrity. So now it's time to move out of our, out from our uh, nothing OS. For that reason, I usually uh, thought of installing the custom ROM uh, to uh, check how the compatibility and all the things are uh, there. But uh, to be uh, make it a bit different I have uh, chose to install a uh, gsi in here so this is usually a fusion project uh, this is uh, unfortunately archived in january but uh, still we have a uh, few rooms uh, to test it but i am just more uh, interested about this uh, android 16 uh, beta 1 so uh, beta 2 is almost uh, way to come and we have uh, even uh, see the uh, new material 3 expressive uh, 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 thing happening in the with the Android. So uh, this is a bit older one, but still uh, I'm going to uh, try to install this Android 16 on our uh, same phone one. So I was searching for the uh, methods to do that. Uh, do this like uh, we, we first need to install the uh, triple uh, app. So I have already installed it, and uh, this particular device is uh, uh, mostly follows uh, AOSP based uh, uh, things, mostly uh, stock related like every uh, unlike other uh, uh, manufacturers so mostly this will be supporting it's not an uh, problem or something so uh, here if you click uh, browse uh, images you will see the fusion project and here you can download gsm mean gms means uh, it will contain the google uh, services no gms means it is plain uh, uh, vanilla aosp so yeah i just downloaded the uh, gmf GMS. So here, I just to give a credit, I was following uh, this Varelnor, uh, uh, Varelnor's uh, uh, method, but uh, there will be some slight changes to me. So shout out to this uh, uh, channel. He has some um, great content. So yeah, uh, first thing first, uh, we need the ROM. So I already have the ROM in here, which is the zip file, right? So you need to right click and export the zip file. So and you once you have the zip file, you will have three files: build dot uh, sys and vb data, vb meta. So we just need this uh, system partition because vb meta and all the things will already be with you. So it is uh, not a problem. Next thing is you need to be uh, have to have the unlocked bootloader. Here I have it. So I have already unlocked the bootloader. I have made a video. You can go ahead and uh, check it. So once you have the unlocked bootloader, first go ahead and. Uh, uh, remove all the accounts whichever you have so for that I will go to password this and Google and here I select and I will just set a uh, remove account right so once you remove that account uh, make sure you remove the uh, security as well like uh, remove all the uh, pin and uh, uh, password so I will go to device unlock and I will select uh, uh, this one I can just <coughs> Uh, turn off the lock so all the fingerprint and everything is uh, now uh, uh, disabled so once you have uh, did this just connect to a computer okay so i have connected it now now what i will do is i will just open the adb fastboot tool make sure all the drivers and things are downloaded and installed properly i have explained this in our previous video so i don't want to uh, get this uh, get into the same things again and again so first I will open uh, my folder. So here I have my uh, platform tools. So I will open that. And in here I, I have all the ADB. So if you would have watched the previous video, you would know how to open this ADB tool. Inside here, in the path, just type up, uh, CMD. Okay. So now I have my, day. this one is connected. So first I will do ADB devices. It may not work because in my previous video, I have uh, turned off, uh, what turned off the uh, adb uh, uh, developer option in the device so uh, for that we'll manually try to uh, do it so first i'll turn off the device okay once the device is turned off uh, use volume up and uh, power uh, power button uh, to uh, get into the uh, recovery options or boot menu right here you have all the boot menu so now what you have to do is uh, using up arrow you can uh, scroll it and using the down arrow uh, you can select so now here I am selecting the uh, fast boot and I will be using down arrow right now it is in fast boot mode I will connect the cable again to check it in here in the CMD I will type uh, fast boot uh, uh, devices 
see now the device is connected in fast boot first thing that we have to uh, do is we need to reboot to the fast boot d because uh, in this particular device this uh, fast boot uh, uh, water uh, to make the uh, system writable or erasing the system is not properly working so we need to first reboot to the fast boot d inside that uh, all our uh, commands will work so yeah uh, for that you can use fast boot reboot fast boot okay so now uh, we have used the fast boot reboot fast boot it is waiting for the device so yeah in the top you can see it is a uh, fast boot uh, d right so now it is in fast boot d now if i type uh, fast boot device the same if you want to use previous commands you can use up arrow so if I type fast boot D, it is showing it is in fast boot. So now I have to uh, make it uh, writable. So for that I will use fast boot uh, this one. So which will uh, format the data. Make sure you take backup of all your data because you will lose it. Okay, we have now erased the user data and everything. It is successful. Okay, now. Uh, we can directly erase the uh, system as well now because we are going to uh, flash the system so we will clear it uh, for that i'll use fast boot erase uh, system okay so the system uh, a partition also erased now i can uh, directly flash the uh, our uh, system partition in here okay uh, which is android 16 so for that fast boot uh, flash system and then i can drag and drop the system so i'll go back to that uh, uh android 16 folder inside here i have this system right so for with that i will just directly uh, drag and drop this one and click enter this particular uh, thing may uh, take some time so yeah because this file is almost uh, 3.8 GB so it will take some one or two minutes just uh, be patient yeah now you can see it is started so it is having a 13 um, uh, partitions so yeah see uh, we have uh, used this uh, fusion uh, GSIs back in um, our uh, asus zenfone light l1 which is almost uh, five years back that time the procedures are a bit uh, uh, what uh, tough because we need to have multiple patches and uh, uh, device verification things we need to turn off but now this is like a plug and play like you can easily install gsi and make it boot in the recent uh, roms because that much uh, integrated uh, integrity is there with our uh, manufacturer with the google's uh, own avosp or something so this is really really welcoming at the same time uh, from the security perspective the uh, pushes from uh, google uh, making it really hard to recommend the gsi or even custom roms in some cases uh, to make it uh, what verified or uh, integrity pass uh, certified it is uh, difficult nowadays so people are uh, more afraid of uh, making use of the uh, custom roms so going forward it is still it is not in uh, uh, what upward uh, situation uh, in terms of uh, installing custom rom or even routing nowadays all the uh, manufactured uh, stock roms have uh, multiple p uh, multiple features like uh, uh, they don't uh, even want to think about uh, routing it so this is a two sided knife now so there isn't uh, much uh, uh, what i would say a benefit of uh, installing custom rom when compared to uh, back in five uh, or ten years back what was the situation so yeah let's just uh, wait uh, just to get installed so now you see it took uh, around 108 seconds which is almost one and a half minute to two uh, one, uh, one and a half minutes so uh, now what we'll do is uh, i will just open here so we we have option to uh, reboot to the uh, bootloader in here you can uh, see it but we are not going to use it we will just use it in here itself uh, in the cmd uh, we can type uh, fast boot uh, reboot bootloader okay which will reboot to the bootloader usually this uh, what uh, uh, GSIs will install in the active partition which is the A partition so we no need to switch the partition and uh, make some things so now I will again may uh, format the user data just for a safer side yeah 
so it is somewhat uh, working now uh, now uh, we are all done uh, our procedures to install this one is done so i will do fast boot uh, reboot so uh, the another good thing if you have noticed that without even the uh, custom recovery <laughs> we have uh, just installed the uh, custom rom actually it's a gsi so generic system image that's cool thing okay so you have you seen that how fast it just uh, booted so let me just uh, go through the settings so now i will sign in with my google account and uh, things and we will get back again also i have noticed that uh, this particular row is not at all working i have seen this uh, happening with uh, what other uh, qpr2 releases as well so this problem is still exist how i can use dot well i don't know maybe i can use uh, landscape well landscape also not working so the one uh, solution could be is uh, like in the vision settings uh, you can turn on adaptive brightness so i will reduce the brightness as well and i'll turn off the adaptive brightness and then in the display size you can increase the display size to fullest and font size also fullest so it should work but still this uh, <laughs> keyboard size is smaller so i will just uh, skip this because it's not going to work or if you have any external keyboard or uh, something you can connect and use this is due to because this uh, particular frp setting is having uh, this uh, back arrow button so maybe due to that reason i don't know yeah i somehow uh, signed in so yeah okay finally we are in the home screen and we have uh, this uh, android 16 so we have this uh, android 16 in here uh, this is the baklava and if i type here and uh, select we have this android 16 right so if i hold this one you can see it is going faster and uh, i guess there is a one game as well so this is the game you can just uh, uh play it like this okay that is cool and uh, the settings also i can uh, change it from here this nav bar to the uh, gestures which you which you usually have it right and we have the dark mode also i believe it should be there yeah yeah we have dark mode and uh, there isn't uh, much to uh, check here because it is just a plain uh, uh, what aosp with the uh, gms uh, uh, integrated so included so yeah that's what about uh, this video there are some few problems with this one this video is already long so i will uh, cover it in the next uh, or one short next video of my initial impression with this standard 16 so yeah that's what about this video thank you for watching and quote moto